Hey guys, T Blake here. Today I'm getting around to reviewing the New Balance Made in England. These were given to me as part of the Secret Santa from Christmas time. Finally getting around to reviewing it. I had to wait a little bit because I thought I brought my charger for my DSLR and I didn't. I was like, eh, do I really want to use my iPhone? And uh, obviously I'm using my iPhone for these. Um, so I figured I would do a uh, quick review on them, let you know what the concept behind the sneaker is, and then show you a cool lace swap I did. So let's get right into it. See that these are 11 and a half in the 576 model. I recommend going true to size. You'll see here it says handmade in the United Kingdom using only the freshest ingredients. You'll see how that tagline plays into the rest of the uh, package. So when you flip open the lid of the sneaker box, you're presented with a rooster of all things, which might seem odd, uh, but New Balance, the design was actually uh, originated from a chicken yard where the founder, William Riley, actually observed the balance of the chicken's feet. It tells you all about that inside, but it's kind of a cool backstory not a lot of people know um, or won't be familiar with if you don't pick up a sneaker from the UK. Here are the sneakers. These are from the T-Pack. You'll see why these sneakers get their name really quick with some of the details. But first impressions, it utilizes a nice forest green suede. A lot of people talk about the quality being superior on the UK models, and I will say I have to agree. The suede is definitely buttery and uh, more thick than on United States models I picked up. Let's get into some more details. So sticking to the tea pack theme, you have New Balance Classics Fresh Peppermint Tea. If you've ever had a tea bag in hand, you'll know that the packaging sometimes looks like this. Inside as well, you'll notice that New Balance Tea is inside, and they've stamped the insole to replicate some popular packaging of tea brands in the United Kingdom. Another nice detail on the sneaker is that they've stitched the uh, British flag in the back tab area of the heel. Last detail before I show you the lace swap is that the second set of laces actually came in a tea bag. Fresh peppermint laces. I really like how they did the packaging here. It's an example of a sneaker where the little differences really make the sneaker. And last but not least, we have the lace swap. I threw in some rope laces that were given to me by Rope Lace Supply. I know Kith started selling rope laces as well, um, but I believe their price point for these guys is just a couple kids starting a really cool business. Um, their price point undercuts Kith by, I think, 8 bucks. So um, I'll link them down below if anyone's interested, but I really love these, and I'm looking forward to getting back to school and doing some lace swaps with the other ones they sent me. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for the review of the New Balance Tea Pack. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I was going to do it on feet, realize the lighting inside is just not desirable without having the DSLR, so I'm going to hold off. I'm going to be back up at school in about three or four days here, so I got some really awesome things coming in and some really cool unboxings to do, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for sticking with me into the new year. Got some awesome things planned for 2014. T Blake signing out. Peace, guys.